Country CEO back in the house again. Man, look, happy Monday uh, morning to you, man. Welcome back to the channel, subscribers, family, and friends. Look, got a good one hot off the press, man. I've been brainstorming and just kind of thinking about a lot that's going on in the dump truck business and hearing some of you guys and listening to some of you and your questions and things of that nature. And uh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, uh, not really a participant, but a member of some of these dump truck groups, man. And I see some of the questions that are asked and, and, and even some of the answers that are given. And, uh, this morning I want to talk about scared money. Don't make money. Y'all heard that on movies. Y'all heard that term. I'm sure, uh, somewhere, but it's a true statement. Scared money don't make money. What am I talking about this morning? Well, a couple of different ways um, uh, I've seen the fear and scaredness about the money part of this uh, really look like it traumatizes some people. And I get it. I get it. I mean, if you have never, you know, went into debt with that kind of money or had access to that kind of money, those things of that nature, or paid that kind of note, you know, it would traumatize. I, I, I get that. Uh, what I want to say to you is that you have to look at the big picture of things. And any undertakings, y'all, that is going to be worth it, going to cost you something. Uh, number one, we got to definitely, if we got to, uh, we, we can't have a something for nothing mentality. Let me put it that way. We can't have a something for nothing mentality. There's so many people in this world got a something for nothing mentality. You want to make seven figures, but you don't want to put nothing in. You want to make six figures. Don't want to make no kind of sacrifices or put any kind of capital or sweat equity. It's going to take more than sweat equity. You're going to need some money at some point, right? And so that's number one. Um, number two, uh, the greatest movements and businesses and things that have happened, are happening, and will happen cost people some kind of investment. And I mean, and you just think about some of the stories where people have lost houses, invested their houses, and I'm not saying anybody should do that. That ain't for everybody. But I'm just simply showing you the depth at which some people in this world have went to in order to get to where we are. One of the mistakes we make is we see, see people's glory, but we don't know their story, right? That's cliche, but it's true. We see the outer, the success, but we don't know what they've been through, the investments they've made, the sacrifices they had to give up, blase, blase, to get to where they are. Find out people's story and you'll find out it ain't just as free and, 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 and it didn't happen with nothing as you may think. Scared money don't make money. It's going to cost you some kind of investment from some kind of way. I don't know if that's your 401k. I don't know if that's your savings. I don't know if that's a loan. I don't know if that's a second mortgage. I don't know what it is. Everybody could be different. But scared money don't make money. You will never reap the benefits if you don't sow what it costs at the beginning to just get in, in, the, in, the, in the situation, right? Particularly dump your business, get in the game. And that's just the bottom line. Scared money don't make money. We hear a lot of times in gambling. You know, when, when folks gambling and they uh, they want to win big, but they don't want to, they want to bet small, right? And I'll use that analogy as I close out this video. You can't win big in this business by betting small. You can't be scared. Uh, I'm not saying four five thousand dollar notes is for everybody, but I'm just gonna say that you got to broaden your mindset to think bigger than what it is, and maybe that's baby steps for, for some people, right? I didn't start out with those big notes either, right? My first note was $1,500, right? And by paying that, well, shoot, back then, new truck, my note was $2,200, so $700 more, but it's double that now, right? So maybe for you, if you're that person and you're not quite there yet, and you, you know, start off with a $2,000 note, you know, $2,500, right? Maybe that's where you need to start. But I'm still gonna tell you, scared money don't make no money. At some point, if you want to really win and win big, you're going to have to step your game up and just start developing that mindset now that if I'm going to get, if I really want to do this at an elite level, if you want to be just, just normal, 
and, and I'm not going to use the word mediocre, but just normal, pity patting by, getting by, then so be it. Keep on with that. But if you want to change your family's life, if you want to really do it at a high level, if you want to dominate this game, then trust me, scared money don't make no money. Hit me in the comments. Tell me what you think.